bitches. You guys are here bright and early. I'm in LA because my daughter lives in Los Angeles and I have this opportunity with The Real. The Real is a daytime talk show that I was asked to do a couple of times. And I also want to just kind of get back out there. You know, I like working, I like having my own thing and LA is where it's at. Evelyn is back in town, and I'm super excited. Is it gonna be controversial? Mm, probably so. Do I care? Absolutely not, because that's my girl, and we always figure out a way to make it work. You're here, and I'm here. I'm here, I'm in LA. I'm Ooh. just kind of like, not Are you going. doing the real? I'm doing the real. First of all, I'm so nervous. You are? Yeah. The whole teleprompter thing, like, I'm like, and the girls are all so great at yeah. it. So I'm kind They're of like, to it. Channel yeah. like a white woman. Okay. <laughs> Shawnee is my only friend out here in LA. I'm so excited to reconnect with her. We literally have been friends for 15 years or so now. She's the only person that knows me inside and out. And I'm so excited to see her and I love her. It'll be easy. Good. Thank you. I'm trying. Oh my God. I'm trying. Okay, so what's going on? Fill me in, fill me in. How is the baby making? A struggle. Yeah. In the last year and a half. I had three miscarriages. Oh, I didn't know three. I had three. With the last one, I heard the heartbeat, went back in a week later and didn't hear a heartbeat. Oh. So I'm like, I don't know if I could deal with this, you know? It's a lot emotionally. It's been an emotional roller coaster. I feel connected to the three kids that I didn't have. Mm. So I feel like I'm supposed to have another one. You know, yeah. like, yes. Yeah. No, I know, I know. So, you know, it's like. What does Carl just, say? He's just like, if you want to try again, try. He's all for whatever I want. I'm engaged to Carl Crawford, ex baseball player. We have a almost three year old son named Leo. And I also have a daughter named Shanice from a previous relationship. But we would love to have one more child. And although it's been heartbreaking, we're hoping to be able to add one more to the bunch. So I know this is awkward, but Tammy's around. I know you haven't seen Tammy in three, four years. I don't want fake friends. Yeah. We met each other, things went from zero to a thousand because the whole ex thing. I know. When her and I got into that fight, the non fact of fight, right? Classic. Classic, <laughs> right? Which we never really talked about exactly what happened. My relationship with Tammy started rocky from the beginning, but I really feel now in hindsight that I never had the opportunity to really discuss things that had happened and why our relationship started rocky from the beginning. I feel like the perception that was put out there was Evelyn was having an affair with her ex-husband and this is why she's upset. I've never messed around with a married man, and right. I never want to have that label, you know? And not that I go around thinking like, oh my God, worried about what you know people think, that's but fair. that's a label that I don't want to yeah. have. From that point on, we never got past that. This was what, 20 freaking years ago, or whenever it was? I never felt like Tammy and I would ever really be close. I see darkness when I see her. I think she has negative energy, and I just, I don't want to be around those type of people. If she comes at me crazy, at some point in your life, Tammy, like how, Tammy's what, pushing 50? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like everything doesn't have to be a argument. Right. But am I gonna allow you to like be disrespectful to me? Never. Tammy's a firecracker. And Evelyn is a mat. You put those two together, we're getting some major fireworks. And now I'm kind of stuck in the middle. I've got to figure out a way to get them together and make them play nice. If we have to be in the same room at the same time, you know, I'm not going to allow you to like just talk to me any kind of way because I'm not, I'm, I'm not that chick. I know how to handle myself. Okay, well, speaking of the same room at the same time, I'm kind of having a little mixer. It's 70s theme. It's oh, sexy. we're 70s babies. We're 70s babies. Just a little dranky drink. Oh, maybe that'll be the night you get Oh, drunk. God. Me getting drunk the first day I see oh, Tammy. Maybe, not. maybe I need to reel that in. Set up 
a disaster. Your party would be like done. No. Girl, do you know I haven't had an argument in four years? <laughs>